Earth is the only planet we know that has life on it. However, scientists say our home world may not be the best planet in the universe for life. Scientists have recently identified 24 superhabitable planets outside our solar system that may have conditions more suitable for life than Earth. They are all more than 100 light years away. The exoplanets are older, slightly larger, warmer, and wetter than Earth, the study by Washington State University found. Some of them orbit stars that may be better than even our Sun. Scientists say life could thrive more easily on planets orbiting changing stars with longer lifespans than the Sun at a slower speed. The lead author of the study, Dirk Schultz Makich, said that the study could help focus future observation efforts, such as from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, the Luvior Space Observatory, and the European Space Agency's Plato Space Telescope. The study suggests we don't need to look for Earth 2.0. There could be planets way more suitable for life than ours. To identify the 24 top contenders for superhabitable exoplanets, Washington State University researchers teamed with scientists from the Max Planck Institute for Solar System Research in Germany and Villanova University in Pennsylvania. Astronomers created a superhabitability criteria, which they used against 4,500 known exoplanets. Habitability does not mean these planets definitely have life but rather the conditions needed for life to thrive were present. The researchers selected planetary systems with G stars, which have short lifespans of less than 10 billion years, similar to our sun, as well as systems with K dwarf stars. K dwarf stars are much smaller and colder, featuring long lifespans ranging from 20 billion to 70 billion years. This means orbiting planets can be older, allowing for life to advance as much as it has on Earth. Scientists consider Earth to be 4.5 billion years old, but the researchers argue that a planet aged 5 billion to 8 billion can nurture life well. Size and mass are also critical. A planet that is 10% larger than Earth should have more habitable land. Scientists expect a planet 1.5 times the mass of Earth would keep its interior heating through radioactive decay longer. Water is also important for life. Scientists suggest a little more of it, especially in the form of moisture, clouds, and humidity, would help. The researchers also considered that a slightly warmer temperature, about 5 degrees Celsius, more than Earth, would be better for life. This warmth and moisture preference is seen on Earth with the greater biodiversity in tropical rainforests than in colder, drier areas. None of the 24 planets met all of the criteria, but one has four of the critical characteristics, making it much more comfortable for life than Earth. Life doesn't necessarily need to be like we are used to here on Earth and definitely doesn't need to dwell on an environment similar to Earth. Carbon-based molecules are the building blocks of life here on Earth. But alien life can be organized around different combinations of molecules than here on Earth. MIT physics professor Sarah Seeger suggests we should consider all possible molecules that could be in gas form and try to combine them in any way possible. Just like taking letters in the alphabet and trying to combine them in all ways. Life as we know it requires water, but it's possible that an environment without H2O can give rise to life as we don't know it. Titan, for example, has seas of hydrocarbons instead of water. Researchers from the Cornell University say Titan's nitrogen-based chemistry could give rise to types of membranes as suitable for cellular life as Earth's lipid-based membranes. Carl Sagan even talked about possible creatures on gassy Jupiter. He calls them sinkers. These creatures might get their energy from sunlight and make their own food, or they might even feast on organic molecules like ethane and methane. Please 
hit the like button, comment below and subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to support us on patreon.com slash cosmonology.